I woke up on July 10th and I went on TikTok. But I didn't see a funny dance or drive through prank that morning, or even later that day. And I never would, so long as I was still in Hong Kong. That's because TikTok decided it would pull out of Hong Kong completely. So we know that India bans TikTok and the US keeps threatening to ban it, but the Hong Kong story is a very different one. You see, TikTok wasn't banned by any government. It just decided it would shut itself down in the Hong Kong market. This all happened shortly after China introduced a new national security law, which tightens Beijing's grip on Hong Kong. And that made some American tech companies like Google and Facebook a little nervous. Tech giants have always treated Hong Kong kind of like its own market, separate from mainland China. But after this new law, things weren't so clear. TikTok immediately took action, making its service completely unusable, even with a VPN. It also pulled itself out of the app and Android store in the city. The company publicly blamed its closure on the fact that Hong Kong was just an unprofitable market. But closing an office in a city is one thing, pulling yourself entirely out of an app store is another. After all, TikTok operates in plenty of markets that it doesn't have offices in. So what gives? Well, some believe that TikTok left Hong Kong because the platform wants to distance itself from its parent company in Beijing. And by taking action, it would seem like TikTok is more like a Silicon Valley or American company than a Chinese one. After all, with President Trump constantly scrutinizing the platform, TikTok's biggest challenge is to be seen as a global tech company that's ultimately trusted by governments around the world. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Let me know in the comments, do you think that TikTok pulled out of Hong Kong because of politics or profits? Also, if you learned something interesting, I'm making more videos on tech, money, and cultures. Subscribe here and find me at Upton.